Because if God go to acting up, if it gets violent, he can make the earthquake if he wants to. He can make volcanoes explode if he wants to. God is God all by himself. I'm glad that he's a God who has the right to use authority. That is why Jesus recognizes this state of emergency and state of war in the supernatural realm. Jesus says the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. Why, Jesus, why is it that God's kingdom would be attacked? Well, you do understand that this is a reaction. Jesus happens to be so proactive that he always makes the first move. Jesus is so proactive that he doesn't have to be invited into his own world. He's the one that made the world. And because he made the world, he has the right to enter into his world. Jesus does not need you to open the door for him because he said, I am the door. So whenever God wants to come in, he already has the right and the privilege. You see, that's why we need first person Jesus. I know that you've listened to other voices. You've heard varying interpretation. But you've got to come to Jesus for yourself in order to really know Jesus. You must do more than listen to what you heard somebody else say about him. But you got to come directly to Jesus for yourself. It's not that I heard the voice of the choir. It's not that I heard the voice of the deacon praying. It's not that I heard the voice of the preacher. But I actually heard the voice of Jesus saying, come unto me and rest. You see, there's something about Jesus' voice that speaks with greater clarity and authority. And you've got to get used to hearing Jesus' voice. You've been listening to so many different personalities. You've had so many phone calls. You've had so many texts. People can get your number you never heard of before. You've received so much in the mail. You have so many spirits trying to get an audience with you that you can become spiritually confused. But there is no voice like the voice of Jesus. For on the stormy sea, Jesus speaks to me and the billow cease to roll. I long for the voice of Jesus. For even the hymn says, I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses. Mm, why am I seeking God alone? Sometimes you can't bring anybody with you because God wants you to go into your secret closet. He has some business to discuss about your soul. He has some issues to deal with in your life that other people can't stand to bear. Jesus wants you alone. There are times when you got to separate from your friends. There are times you got to put your phone down. There are times you got to disconnect from your email and have a little talk with Jesus and tell him about your struggles. And after you talk with Jesus, you can go back to your problems and tell your problems who Jesus is. Oh, 
God. Sometimes we believe that prayer is only about telling God about your troubles, but don't ever do all the talking when you are in prayer. There should be a time in your prayer life where you allow God to speak to your soul. Lord, speak to me. My soul needs to hear your voice. Lord, speak peace to my confusion. Speak power to my weakness. Speak anointing to the thirst in my life for the kingdom of God. Oh, I need to hear from God. Jesus, your voice soothes my sorrow. Your voice calms my fears. Oh, Lord, Jesus, I want to stay there in the garden with you long enough that the voice of Jesus stirs my pure mind Jesus revives my soul I want to stay there long enough until I get some joy for with joy I draw waters out of the well of salvation the joy we share as we tarry there none of the I need real joy. Wars, rumors of war, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, the love of many waxing coal, false prophets, false doctrines, seducing spirits, doctrines of devils, compromising ideologies. Jesus, I need real joy. Oh, Lord, I'm willing to wait at your feet until you renew my strength. Oh, Lord, I'm willing to cast all my cares upon you. Oh, oh I know you care about me. Oh, Lord, I know you are still my God, my battle axe in the time of war. You are still my company keeper. You are still my heart fixer, my mind regulator. I know you are still fight my battles. Hallelujah. Jesus, I need you because I'm in a fight with the supernatural. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities and powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. We wrestle against the rulers of the darkness of this world. But I want to thank you, Lord, because you gave us the key to winning this unfair fight. You told us, Lord, put on the whole arm of God, mm, which does not mean carry a weapon, but what it means, become the weapon. Oh, Lord, for when we become the weapon, that means the word is one with us. The word is in my hands. The word is between soul and spirit. The word is in my joints and my morrow. Oh, oh. The word is all over me, keeping me alive. Thank you for your word. Hallelujah. Glory. We have become the weapon. Don't you 
understand that in the history of war, there comes a time when you fired all your bullets, you used up all of your ammunition, and you got nothing left but yourself. That's when the order comes, fix bayonets and charge. No more bullets, no more grenades, no more cannons. All I got left is myself. Fix bayonets and charge. Because when you're like Jesus, instead of running from danger, you walk toward danger. Yay! Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Jesus says, I'm better than death. I've got the keys of death and hell in my hand. All power of heaven and earth is in my hands. Jesus is still the commander in chief. Jesus is still all and all. Oh, oh, Jesus is still on the throne. Say yes, say yes. Oh, Jesus. You've got the authority. You've got the right to put things in their proper place. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him right now. You don't have to wait until the battle is over. Shout right now. Shout because he's real. Shout because you are an overcomer. Shout because you have the assurance of his words. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine I am an heir of salvation purchase of God born of his spirit washed in his blood I got a declaration I have an announcement this is my story this is my song praising my savior all the day Praise him in every situation. Praise him in the valley or on the mountain. Praise him when the storms of life are raging. Praise him because he's assured us of the victory. Praise him because he's real. Praise him because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Say yes. Say yes. Oh, oh pray them. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, praise him. I feel a violent praise in my spirit, a praise that will shift the atmosphere, a praise that will shake off the enemy's chains from your mind, a praise that will give you a spirit of overcoming. I feel a praise. Anybody got that kind of praise? Oh, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Say yes, say yes, hallelujah. Come on and magnify him. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The glory of God is in this place. The anointing is destroying yokes. Thank you. The Holy Ghost is here. The power was here. Miracles are here. Deliverance is here. Thank you. Thank you. Come on and praise him anyhow. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. 
Lord. Hallelujah. to God. Let us give God thanks. Eternal God, our Father, we bless you for this opportunity to reach souls around the world. May you continue to bind us closer together in the love of Jesus Christ. As your word says, now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. May the power of the Holy Spirit Move upon our lives that we may fulfill our kingdom assignment. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.